What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I just filmed this video about an hour ago and I wanted to get it out to let people know what is going on in the stock market and what is causing the sell-off. I'm seeing a lot of worried people asking me why stocks and crypto are currently down and there's a simple reason for that. I will break this video down into three parts. One, I'll talk about what is causing the market sell-off. Two, what I think will happen. Three, how we as retail investors can take advantage of these market weaknesses. Okay, so firstly, the Australian stock market lost more than 2% today. The worst session since February due to the price in iron ore continuing to collapse more than 60% from its peak in May. The main cause of this is the Evergrande crisis which is wreaking havoc across the Asian and Australian markets. If you didn't know, Evergrande is China's second largest property group which is currently facing bankruptcy. The company borrowed more than 300 billion USD which they cannot pay back. In fact, today was a deadline for a large interest payment which they missed, causing the company's shares to fall by 10% on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And the stock is down almost 90% overall from a year ago. It essentially went from a $20 stock to a $2 stock. They owe more than 100 million in interest payments on the company's bonds, which is due this Thursday. So watch this space. There are a lot of articles coming out calling this situation the Chinese equivalent of the Lehman Brothers. A throwback to what the United States experienced in 2008 during the global financial crisis, which led to the collapse of the Lehman Brothers Investment Bank. To compound the matter further, Evergrande can't even afford to pay off their 300 billion in debt using the assets that they currently own. This is because a lot of their assets are tied to real estate, but in this case, many are undeveloped real estate. So they are basically half-built units. You may be wondering, who cares? Why don't we just let the company go bankrupt? Why does it affect us? Well, it's not that simple. When a client can't repay a $300 billion loan, then it becomes the bank's problem and they have to protect themselves. They need to make up their losses in other ways. In order to do this, they need to start selling off their other investments in assets such as stocks and crypto, even though most banks won't admit they own crypto. In addition, the people who have invested in Evergrande and their units have basically lost their deposits. So they need to make up their losses in other ways and sell their own assets. And you can now see how this starts creating a knock-on effect. It is important to note that retail investors make up the minority of stock ownership. Institutional investors like the banks make up majority of stock ownership and when they sell, they create a ripple effect which affects everything. What happens when the big institutions sell stocks and crypto? Well, the price falls. And what happens when prices fall? Well, people start to panic sell, which is what I think is happening right now. The crypto market in particular is down significantly from yesterday. The ASX and the Hong Kong stock markets were both down today, and the US futures aren't looking good. The big three indices, the S&P 500, the Dow, and the Nasdaq are almost down 2%. Now moving on to the second part, what I think will happen. Well, I can't predict the future, but I think there's a few scenarios that may play out. The first obvious solution is the CCP will come and bail out Evergrande. Some say the company is too big in China to fail. However, since China is a communist country, it won't be a good look for the government to come out and save one of their biggest companies so easily. What some people are already predicting is the CCP will come out and bail them out, but with strict conditions that will largely favor the CCP. I think this is the most likely solution. In the end, the CCP will always win and a takeover by them will be at a big discount. It reminds me of Alibaba donating 100 billion yuan to smaller Chinese companies and I think something similar will happen for Evergrande. Another option could be for other Chinese banks and institutions to come in and refinance the debt for Evergrande. Again, it will be at a massive expense for Evergrande but at this stage, I can't see any way back for this company and anything now is damage control. The last scenario is no one stepping in and Evergrande going bankrupt which causes a ripple effect in the Chinese markets which in turn causes a bigger ripple effect in the global economy. This will have a significant effect on the global stock market. But in my opinion, this is the least likely scenario to happen. But it could definitely happen. Overall, this will create more pressure on Chinese stocks which are already under pressure, with China certain to increase regulation to avoid a repeat of this crisis. Now for the final part which you've probably been waiting for. How can we as retail investors play this to our advantage? Well firstly, if you're a long-term investor, do not panic sell your stocks. Rather, see this as an opportunity to add to your positions at a discounted price, especially in index funds. This Evergrande situation will likely present at least a week of market weakness. If you are not invested in the stock market and have cash waiting on the sidelines, maybe this situation is the buying opportunity that you've been waiting for. In terms of crypto, I feel like they're the innocent casualty in all this, because nothing fundamentally has changed. I am personally a believer in the future of crypto, but if you are a new investor, then please be careful. The strategy I employ with crypto is to buy during market corrections like these and hold long term. It is also better to dollar cost average because no one can predict the market. Anyway, this is not financial advice and the comments I make are for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research if you would like to buy these assets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button if you did.
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more market update videos like these. So until next time, please invest safely.